Okay, my wonderful friends, another shocker at a Mud Fossil University. I will probably be referring to it as MFU from now on. Um, what we're seeing here is this Natural Bridges National Monument in Utah. And I will tell you who the channel is that presents this. And they do a fabulous job. And they do these drone footage all over of these spectacular vistas of unexplained geology and I can explain it because that is exactly the same as what we are looking at there. I can show you the actual muscle fibers and tissues and everything because this is bio biological. It's biology my friends and I will show you the different colors the blacks and the reds and this is exactly the same as what we're going to see in this drone footage. Now, um, let's take a closer look. Okay, my wonderful friends, this is going to be another one of these shockers. I have always claimed that the Earth, and literally everything I can find everywhere, is from biology, which this is as well. Now, this is from a site called Amazing Places on Our Planet. And they are amazing, and the guy did a fabulous job, and he's got a bunch of videos. You should subscribe and follow this channel. This is Natural Bridges Nat National Monument in Utah, and this is uh, USA in 4K ultra high definition. Look at these patterns. I'm going to show you something right now that I have in my shop, and they are everywhere. And everybody is out walking around, driving, seeing these kind of things, saying, wow, I wonder how these happened. Well, I'll explain to you how they happened. Okay, before we still go into the video, this is the rock I have here. Now, this was some form of a body part, and I believe this could have been a shoulder or whatnot. But this is the tendinous. You see these tendon fibers here? That locked into that bone right there. And then this piece is a tendon that linked to the muscle. And this is the muscle fibers. And they break off at a certain distance because they become quite weak as they transition from the tendon into the into the actual what they call the sarcomeres of the muscle. And then they break at the certain, I call them abrupt transitions and like that's an abrupt transition and, and then there'll be other ones here where they break but you can see the fibers and you can see uh, I mean, what it is is what it is it's muscle now these muscle fibers are below and inside the layer of your body tissue above it is this layer of red bloody area where they would normally call that areolar tissue now, let's see if I can get a little light on there. And you can see that the black, we're going to be seeing a lot of black. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's black here, black here, black here. That is in the blood. Blood is red and black in mud fossils. The red blood is the vein, uh, artery blood, and the black blood is from arteries, uh, veins, oh boy. And the veins have used up their oxygen. Therefore, the iron turns black. When the oxygen is three oxygens instead of two, it's red. And that's the red blood is what they make iron out of. They, they just heat it up to, I think it's 2835 degrees, something like that. And it burns off everything else up to the iron, and then they can pour the iron off. But this is muscle fiber. Up on the top, if you can see, that is sandstone and the reason that is is a different type of of material is because it it's on the surface of your body and that has to make contact with everything else this is tough 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 as hell but right below that is in part of your your body tissue and um we're going to see a lot of black running down now this was not out in the elements this was just laying around in the mud really so it didn't have anything to run off like we're going to see on the um, it, it, absolute fabulous video and we're going to watch it right now and I'm going to explain to you what I have here versus what he shows there okay I'm just going to let this play and comment as we go along 
Now, I'm not trying to steal anything from anybody. This is under the Fair Use Act. But you can see all these layers of tissue, the same as the layers of tissue I'm showing here. When you see these, you see this black running off? If this rock here and its layers of blood, which is the black blood over here, I don't know if you can see it well, would be running off the same way it's running off of here. This is obviously a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of what that is. I mean, that's a creature that covers states, literally states. Tyson is up in uh, Oregon, Tyson Carlson, doing a fabulous job, has a drone now. He's going out and looking out. See all this stuff? That is biological, exactly what I'm showing here. Well, there's no skipping politics, is there? Now, this is nothing more than what I am showing here. Every single detail is here. These are layers of flesh. The same thing that would happen right here, running off the black, is running out of there, the top layer. Now, above this would have been the, the top surface of this that hasn't eroded yet would be like my sandstone on the top of this. But there's, you can see how many layers I have tissue I have just in this. This is absolutely phenomenal. And these are all, these are all blood vessels and so forth that some of them might have been enlarged, but a lot of them are just natural. These caves are all natural arteries, veins, digestive systems, that's just what it is. And because the creatures were so large, the veins are what they lived in, a lot of them. Lived in veins and arteries, and the cavities were digestive systems, the stomach, the intestines, all of that had to be dealt with. And a lot of the chemistry on the earth is literally from all of these different body parts. You see this? It's exactly what I'm showing here. There's no difference whatsoever. Zero difference. Zero. Now, you see all this red running off dust here? That is the blood that would run off right from here. I can collect it in my fingernail if I just scratch it right off of here. That is what mud comes from. <laughs> this is all biological. That's all muscle, exactly like I'm showing here. Muscle all along there. I don't see any reason to go too much further with this. It's spectacular. You should come up here and get on this channel because he's got a batch of these. Does a very, very nice job. Very soothing, pleasant, all muscle. All muscle fibers, blood, red and black blood. It's just what it is. And if we could really get a lot of detail on this, like Carl, uh, uh, Tyson Carlson's doing, he's going out and trying to understand what is the actual biology we're looking at. I'm going to show you a couple of his shots. And, and we need to bring all these people together to discuss this so that we can come up with the understanding of what our past really was. Because right now, all of this is, is very, very very misunderstood. Let's just start with that. A whole new look at it needs to be taken. Since mud fossils, it's all over for just dismissing all this stuff. It can't be dismissed anymore. It has to be looked at in what it really was at one time. Now, obviously, the people used it and constructed houses under it and so forth. They might have known exactly what they had here. They worked with the mud, they worked with the clay, they worked with the different layers, they worked with the caves. They sheltered under all these places, and they had stories of reverence for these places because they understood, I believe, what our real past was. And, and we've lost all that since the Age of Enlightenment. We've been told things that just aren't true. and. Um, I don't know if there's a, a, a pattern or a reason for that, but I can tell you one thing right now. We have to re-examine literally everything that we now believe is, is theoretical fact, like the speed of light, and which I can show you. We can speed that up very simply. All of the things they're talking about in all these places are not correct.
All right, so I just showed you the biology and geology and all of the things that we just learned about in school. We've got to look at it again. And the same thing with light. That's light normal speed. That's light accelerated. They say you can't do it. They say you can't see photons. Well, I can see photons. They are right there. And they, are, they come just as they explode at the venturi, which is what we created, to compress those photons until they separate into electron showers, which is the white, and muons, which is the black balls. I showed you the particle. It was a square just like that, black and white. Boom, it explodes. The charge separation happens there. These black balls are muons. The white is the electron showers, exactly as CERN is asking for. And these are the uh, actual muon that they want to see, which is the black ball. That's the electron shower. Before that happened, the two of them were tied together as neutrinos, which is just the white and the black. And here they are. And then I will leave you to our future discussions. There's the black and the white balls. Half of that right there. That right there is an, is an electron. An electron is not just the powerful part. It has a black side, dark matter. Nobody ever knew about it before. Two of them together, two electrons, is a basically neutral photon. Phew, they come through the air. One of those only is like lightning and like electricity, extremely aggressive, interactive, wants to glue into something. These want to bounce. I'm sorry, things have to change and you have to start to understand this. And, and there's a fight and a pushback against anything that disrupts the, the current thinking. And all the current thinking needs to be disrupted and to be looked at in a whole new way. Uh, I could be totally wrong about everything I'm saying, but I don't think so. And if I'm wrong, not wrong, it changes things a lot. All right, I love you. Stick with me. The school is starting soon. And this is not for kids. This is basically for parents and adults and, you know, kids, that's fine too, but I'm not making it for kids and I'm making it for people that want to understand what's going on. Kids, I'd love to have them see it, but you cannot, oh boy, this is a problem with YouTube. You can't say I'm making this for kids because they won't let you comment. So then the kids can't, all they're going to do is just say, here's what you're going to have to say and you listen to me and just sit down and shut up because I'm making this for you kids and you kids can't comment. Well, it's not up to you kids. It's up to your parents to teach you what they think is the, what you should be learned. And then as you progress in your life, you take on your own meaning of what you saw. My parents weren't right about a few things. They were right about most everything. But nobody was right about a lot of things. And now it's time to re view the things that are always unexplained. Oh, this is unexplained. Oh, this is a mystery. Oh, this is amazing. And, and, and yes, absolutely. Until you start to look at electron flood theory and the new mud fossil geology. I love you. All right, and I mentioned Tyson's mud fossil adventures, and here it is right here. Here's a membrane on, he's out in Oregon, and he's mapping out a creature's body. And this membrane layer is only the bottom layer. <laughs> and this is like 10 inches thick or so, the, the layer, just this layer. It's six feet to the top layer, which is way up above. And you can see all the black stuff running out and so forth in his videos as well. It's, it's, it's the earth and everything I can find is biological. So please subscribe, to, talk to your friends. Talk to people you know. You just spread the word about this because it's being suppressed. Because it has a lot of ramifications other than just changes geology. But it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Let's just start with that. <laughs> all, right, I, I, all I can say is I love you all. And all I want to do is present factual evidence and have it looked at. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it, I, I think it's factual. But if someone can come up with a... a, a an alternate conclusion with material evidence, I'm certainly not going to run away from that. All right, once again, stay tuned.